Yo book nerds! As you obviously can tell, I am not recording in my usual spot. Due to some personal things going on, my current room where I record has been kind of taken over at the moment with stuff. <laughs> and so, temporarily at least for a while, I will be recording some videos at my boyfriend's house. I kind of took over <laughs> a little space at his place. He's so awesome that he lets me do that. And I hung up my favorite blanket to kind of get the bookish vibe going on over here. It's a little cut off, but it says, just a girl who loves books. I got this blanket from my grandma for Christmas one year. I love it. Anyway, sorry if you can hear construction going on outside. That is just what we'll have to deal with. It is April and it is National Poetry Month. And to kind of celebrate National Poetry Month, I wanted to share with you guys some poems that I had gotten published. When I first planned this video, I had planned to link where I had gotten these poems published in the description. However, since first planning this video, unfortunately the website where I did get these published has gone down. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. I'm not sure if they were a COVID fatality, unfortunately. So I don't know what's going on and I don't know if the site will be coming up at some point in the future or if it is gone, gone, um, which is very unfortunate for me to already be out of print. But I will still put the link just in case, but it currently does not work. So instead, I'm going to read you my two poems that I got published and share them with you that way. So I have originally published these two poems on a website. It was an online publication called Soft Cartel, and they published all kinds of poetry on their site. And I thought they were a great site, and I'm really sad to see them go down, and I hope they do come back at some point in the future. And I got these poems published in 2018. So please be gentle with me. I am not sharing these poems with you because I think they're the best poems ever. I'm sharing them with you in honor of National Poetry Month. And one of the two poems is pretty personal to me. Um, no, I don't think these are the best poems ever written, but they're important to me and I'm proud of them. The first poem is titled, Living. Knit pearl, knit pearl, what will this piece become? Stitches weaving, just the beginning. Knit pearl, knit pearl, why did I pick these colors? Shades intertwine, essence grows. Knit pearl, knit pearl, will this pattern work? Needles clink together, something forms. Will it be a masterpiece? Not sure, knit pearl. It's not finished yet. This poem was inspired by one of my hobbies, which is knitting. And knit and purl are two kinds of stitches for knitting. I had originally wrote the first draft of this for a class while I was in college. My professor told me when he first saw the title that he didn't think the title living would work. But then he told me after he read the poem that yes, it should be titled living, not life, not lived, not anything else it should be living because I wrote this to be about the uncertainties of life and how we doubt ourselves and how we try new things but we're not really sure how they'll turn out and so I wrote this poem as a reflection of that the second poem I want to share with you is titled visits and this is the more personal poem that I wanted to share with you when you see a cardinal a loved one who has passed is near I just wanted you to know I saw you the other day. You came quiet, unobserved, to sit in the bird feeder, stayed long enough for me to see, left without a goodbye. I saw you again today, different place, different bird feeder, stayed as long as last time, no goodbye. I confess I didn't make enough time to see you before. I'm sorry. I miss you. Means a lot you make time to see me now. Can't wait until the next visit. Who knows? Might be me visiting you. I wrote that poem shortly after my Uncle Juan passed away from pancreatic cancer. 
and him and I were very close and it was really tough for me and I I have lots of regrets I wish I had made more time to see him and every time I see a cardinal I always think of my uncle Juan I have lost a lot of family to cancer specifically but I've also just lost a lot of family and some friends and so I didn't make this poem specifically about Juan but it's just kind of about loss in general and wishing you had more time with those people. I know the last stanza is not meant to be about suicide or anything like that. It is meant to be a statement about how life is unpredictable and we don't know what could happen and tragedy can strike at any moment. But with my beliefs, I believe I'll see these people again. And so that's why I wrote this poem. So those were my two poems, Living and Visits. If you like poetry, let me know. If you liked my poems, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like them, that's okay too. I just wanted to share them because it's April and it's National Poetry Month. Let me know what you guys are reading for National Poetry Month. Let me know your favorite poets because I'm always looking for new things to read. I personally love poetry. I love writing poetry. It's what I write the most of. And I do love reading poetry as well. Maybe sometime in the future I will do a video on my favorite poets or my favorite poems or things like that. If you're interested in a video like that, let me know too. If you enjoyed this video, please like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also check out my Facebook page because I post more bookish content over there throughout the week. I post videos here every Monday. I will see you guys next week. Even though we talked poetry today, as always, thanks for talking books with me.